Hi, real estate agents. This is Brad Gustafson, designer of the TransTrack system. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own transaction tracking spreadsheet using the free Google Docs uh, service through your Gmail account. So you'll see I have my Gmail account up here and if you go up to the right hand side where it says my name Brad Plus then you'll see a tic-tac-toe boxes, nine boxes. Click on that and it'll bring you down and, it'll, and you'll find Drive. If it's not there, click the More button. It'll show more uh, programs to use. But click on Drive, and a new page will pop up. Give it a second. And it'll give a listing of the documents that you have on your Drive. Notice I've got folders and documents. Uh, but we're going to start out with a new document. So on the top left, it'll say new red button click on that and you'll see that you want to create a new sheet not a document or a slide but a Google sheet click on new sheet a new page comes up and it gives you an untitled spreadsheet now we're gonna build a spreadsheet uh, for tracking your transactions so there's within a spreadsheet there you can have multiple sheets down at the bottom, you'll notice it says Sheet 1. So we want to rename this by clicking the little triangle box and click the name Rename. And we're just going to call this Transactions. This is the sheet that will be your main starting point. Uh, and then in column A, we'll start with, uh, of course, the property address. So we type in Address. And what are the other things that you're going to want to keep track of in a transaction? Uh, I have 31, but we'll just throw out a few here uh, as an example. Let's say you want the uh, client name. Uh, you also want the, you know, let's say the list price. Uh, maybe it sells, so you want to put down the uh, selling price. Uh, and then what are the tasks that you want to get completed during this process? Of course, you're going to start out with a, a listing uh, tasks before it gets sold. So you want to put a, you know, a sign on the property, put a lockbox on it. Uh, when it does sell, sell, you're going to want to open escrow. Uh, you're going to have an inspections done, inspections, uh, etc. So you can create all the different tasks from the time you list the property till you close it. And then notice this gray, you can drop that down one. And then as you scroll, you see the numbers scroll up and down, but that locks in that first row. Now in the address, let's say the first property that you list is one, two, three, Main Street. Uh, now the question is, is a few things that we want to add to this spreadsheet as we build it. Uh, notice one, two, three Main Street is on row number two. So next to transactions at the bottom, you'll see a plus sign. So let's add a sheet for that property. So I put you yes, and it says sheet two. But I want to just rename this one to be just number two. Okay, which is going to correspond to the row two in the transactions sheet, the main transactions sheet. And in here, we're going to build a whole new spreadsheet uh, or a sheet that you would list out all the contact information, the, the buyer's name, the seller's name, their phone numbers, the other agent's name, their phone numbers, email address, the escrow company. Uh, all the contact information you want can be built into a spreadsheet here. I'll show you my example in a few minutes. Uh, but if we go back to the main transactions, also, uh, so you would want to actually create additional sheets for each row. Uh, let's say we just add one more. Uh, sheet three is actually going to be row three. So I'm just going to rename that to three. And then I can move these around, grab it, and put them in order. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as many properties as you may be managing at one time, you can have a sheet for each one of those. Uh, then you want to add a sheet for each of the tasks that are to be completed. So under transactions, notice the uh, first task is address. And that's in row, or excuse me, column A. So let's create a, another sheet at the bottom. Uh, instead of sheet four, I'm going to rename it as simply a and then what will happen is this will be 
address. You can title this as the uh, uh, you know how to uh, find address. Okay. Uh, if I go back to the transactions, uh, let's pick out. Let's say open escrow is G. So I'm going to create another tab at the bottom, and we'll rename sheet five to G. And you'll see it's there's a tab G, and we can rearrange those in the order, you know, A, B, C, D, F, G, etc. And then in tab G, we will name, you know, title it uh, "How to Open Escrow." Okay. So uh, you can then type in, you know, all the instructions necessary. Uh, you know, uh, get earnest money deposit to escrow company, etc. There's all kinds of things that will be happening in that one step, and you can have a sheet within the main spreadsheet detailing all those instructions. Um, so that's basically how you build a spreadsheet. Uh, if you do it on your own, it's no charge. Uh, you, this is what it looks like. Uh, my sample, I've got, I've done this already. Uh, if you notice, I've got steps one, two, three, four, five, and I'll scroll across. There's actually 31 steps that I've got: open escrow, HOA documents, inspections, home warranties, buyer and seller signing, putting, taking the lockbox and signing down after it closes, archiving the file, etc. There's 31 steps that I've created. Now, for each of those, if you notice. Uh, Let's say open escrow is in column P. So at the bottom, I've created all the tabs already lettered that correspond. If I click on P, uh, it'll pull up the step-by-step -step instructions on how to open escrow. And as you can see, it's slightly different if it's for a buyer uh, or for a seller. If you're the buyer's agent or the seller's agent, it'll be different either way. Uh, and I've com completed all these instructions for all 31 steps. Uh, they can be customized for your use uh, because everybody's way of doing business is slightly different, but it's certainly going to take you a lot less time to customize these instructions than to build uh, the whole spreadsheet yourself. Uh, which again, you can do it on your own uh, or you can go ahead and actually take my class. I've got an online class, uh, TransTrack System for Real Estate Agents on the Udemy.com website. Uh, if you take this class, the retail price is $149 and there are separate tutorials. I'm going to scroll down here and show you the curriculum. Uh, in the first two, to two, two tutorials, uh, totaling about six minutes, you'll learn how to download a copy of my spreadsheet that I just showed you uh, with all the instructions already pre-printed, the whole spreadsheet built, and you just download it to your system and use it in your business. And then when you need to reference how to do any of the steps, I've got a little video tutorial for each of the 31 steps giving you details on what to do and how to do, even though the step-by-step -step instructions are written on this uh, spreadsheet, you'll also be able to see a video tutorial going, giving you more detail and insight on how to use the system. Uh, and you'll notice one of the main things, you can actually preview, you'll see a green preview button, is working the system as a team. Uh, when you use the system, you see in the top right, it says share. Uh, if I click on that, it'll say loading, and I can type in an address. Maybe it's my assistant's email address. Uh, and if it is my assistant, I can leave it can edit. So uh, when I'm in the, in the field doing a listing, my assistant can complete all these tasks, edit, update that those tasks have been done, and I'll be able to see while I'm at a listing appointment that a sign has been ordered on the one that we just listed yesterday, or a sign or lockbox has been removed on the ones that closed the day before yesterday. Uh, so all these steps are, can be done by multiple people that you allow access to. Uh, you can also change this from can edit to can comment or can view. Uh, let's say you want your broker to see what's going on with your business, but you don't want them getting in there and changing any of the steps or editing. Uh, so you can allow access for people to see what's happening, maybe even a client. You want your clients to see all the steps you're taking as they're taking it. They can do that uh, without actually changing any of that information. Or maybe allow them access to comment, in which case they see something may have been done on the property and they can actually put a comment in there with a question for you and communicate to you any concerns that they may have about the marketing or sale or close uh, you know, of the process of the property that you they've hired you for. Um, anyway, if you go ahead and go to 
udemy.com slash trans dash track dash system and follow the link below this YouTube video uh, or input the coupon code, you'll be able to get this system and all the tutorials that go with it at a discounted price off the 149 retail. Uh, anyway, have a great career and service your customers as best you can using the tr TransTrack system.